Although neuroendocrine neoplasms, or NENs, are rare, their incidence has been increasing in recent years. Gastroenteropancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, or GEPNETs, are the most common, well-differentiated neuroendocrine tumors. Despite continuing challenges for detecting and diagnosing NETs, survival has improved as more therapeutic milestones have been reached. To optimize the treatment and management of advanced NETs, clinicians need to be aware of a variety of factors that can influence treatment decisions. These are factors related to the tumor, the patient, and the treatments available. Notably, the primary tumor site affects survival. In a study of 65,000 people living with NETs, Dasari and colleagues showed that survival was longest in people living with NETs arising in the rectum or appendix. Those living with pancreatic or pulmonary NETs had worse survival outcomes. Irrespective of primary site, survival is worse with metastatic disease. A number of other tumor-related factors should be considered by clinicians in their decision-making process. Histological differentiation and KI67 proliferation index have prognostic value in GEPNENs, with poorer differentiation and higher grade and proliferation correlating with worse prognosis. Outcomes are also affected by the rate of tumor growth, whether the patient is symptomatic, how widespread the disease is, and its burden. Better outcomes are associated with slower tumor growth rate, asymptomatic disease, limited disease spread, and low disease burden. The patient's predisposition, medical history, comorbidities, and preferred treatment goals should all be taken into account. Only 52% of patients have the same treatment goals as their physician, highlighting the need for improved patient-provider communication and integration of patient preferences in treatment planning and medical decision-making. Based on evidence from supporting clinical studies, treatment guidelines have been published by several organizations. Despite advances in recent years, there remain challenges and unmet needs related to the treatment and management of advanced NETs. Improved patient-provider communication and integration of patient preferences in treatment planning and medical decision-making are needed. Guidelines have varying levels of detail, often requiring providers to choose from several options for a given line of therapy. There is a need for validated predictive biomarkers of response to guide therapeutic decision-making. Individualization of treatment accounting for both tumor and patient-related factors for personalized medicine in NETs remains a clinical aspiration. Definitive studies addressing therapeutic sequencing are not yet available. Additional tools to support therapeutic decision-making and drug development in NETs, such as those based on tumor growth rate, TGR kinetics, are needed. In summary, a number of factors have to be taken into account to optimize the treatment and management of advanced NETs. Therapeutic choice is based on a number of tumor, patient, and treatment-related factors. Involvement of a multidisciplinary team is essential. In addition, communication between patients and HCPs is needed to ensure that patient preferences are incorporated into decision-making and treatment plans. When considering the tools to optimize treatment and management of advanced NETs, always integrate efficacy, QOL, and both short- and long-term toxicity in addition to tumor-related factors when choosing the treatment strategy.